Avastin is a drug that's been developed to try to ch choke off the blood supply of tumors. It's been used to treat breast cancer, and initially it looked like the results were promising. The women had a delay in the time the tumor progressed. However, it was found that the women didn't live any longer, and therefore the uh, approval of Avastin was removed by the FDA. This has been controversial. We tried to find out how could we explain the clinical results explaining that Avastin seemed to delay the time for tumor progression, but the tumors became more aggressive and women weren't living longer. And what we discovered was that Avastin and similar drugs like sunitinib, uh, which also choke off the blood supply of tumors, actually increase the tumor cancer stem cells. This is a component of tumors, which are the seeds of the tumor, and actually fuel the tumor and make it aggressive, grow, and metastasize. So while Avastin is able to stop the growth of the bulk of tumor cells, it actually fuels the cancer stem cells. The good news is that this really points to a new direction of how can we make drugs like Avastin uh, actually effective. And what we believe is that if we combine these drugs with drugs that can specifically target the cancer stem cells, then they will work. And we've actually now tried that approach in the laboratory in mice with cancer, and our early results appear to be promising, and it appears that such an approach may actually work. At our cancer center, we've developed a number of clinical trials in their early phases aimed at attacking cancer stem cells. The hope for the future is that we can take these cancer stem cell targeted agents and combine them with agents such as Avastin and really benefit women with cancer. We are now working on our laboratory studies to determine what are the best combinations of cancer stem cell inhibitors and anti-angiogenic agents. Once we determine that within the next year, we'll be talking with the pharmaceutical companies to see if we can move forward with a clinical trial to determine whether combining these agents actually benefits women with advanced breast cancers.